Hello everyone, uh, my name is Anik and today we will be patching up the last topic line by line analysis and with the help of uh, a few more examples and understanding it in a more broader manner. So here is the analysis example number 3 of line by line analysis of algorithm topic. So in this algorithm we are again given an algorithm and we are supposed to find out the running time of this piece of code. So what will be the running time of this code section? Let's start analyzing the first line which is uh, just the simply an assignment statement so it will take just uh, one constant time for its execution. Now line 2 which is a while loop uh, so here repetition will be happening so this loop going to run for 10 times that is 1 2 10 so it will take uh, 10 times 10 iterations to complete its execution now line 3 uh, which is the, under the influence of the while loop it will also taking 10 iteration completes its execution so now line next line which is 4 will take constant time this 4 line is taking the constant time as it is just an assignment statement and it is not under the influence of any while loop or anything okay so now line 5 which is while loop and will be executing from 1 to n so it will take n iterations to complete execution line 6 and 7 will also take n iterations because these are all uh, in the influence of the while loop then uh, at line 8 to 11 we have an if else condition so this if condition will always going to run okay I'm assuming that you have watched my last video in which I have covered maximum rule so here maximum rule will work so the maximum of these two sequences is no one because they both are equal so we will choose one of them which is one okay so because both are equal so we will be choosing one of them so these are all line by line analysis that we have done okay so after adding up all these we get the running time as 3n plus 24 so let's move to the next example so here is another example of line by line analysis for algorithm which is more complex than the previous three examples so let's start by analyzing and solving because there is a three degree of nested loops and we need to do the work step by step to make the work easy so the best way to tackle this type of questions is to start analyzing from the lowest inner loop uh, okay so here the lowest inner loop is this uh, while loop which is going to run i j times and will be performing an extra operation of uh, do k is equal to k minus 1 okay so step 1 will be something like this that is it will run j times and an extra operation which will take one constant time so now step 2 is the middle for loop so middle for loop is going to run from 1 to 2 times i okay the middle for loop so middle for loop is going to run from 1 to i 2 i times okay so and hence all the code section which is in the influence of this for loop will also run for 2 i times okay so here this j will uh, take this summation okay and this uh, one will also take this summation but as one is also an elementary operation so we are not considering the summation on uh, one so summation will be look like this this is solved using the formula described in previous slides and I have also updated the formulas here described in the previous slides so after computing we are left with 2i square plus 3i okay so now uh, at 
step 3 which is outer loop so as it is running for n times so and hence all the code section inside it will be going to run n times okay so this 2i square and 3i is going to take the summation of i is equal to 1 to n okay so uh, this 2i square plus 3i is going to uh, take the summation of uh, from uh, 1 to i is equal to 1 to n okay so after solving it uh, you can uh, check this out so after solving and computing these summations we get the running time or time complexity of n cube okay Uh, this big O uh, is representing the worst case scenario. So we will be covering it in a more detail in the next few uh, worksheets. So so I am updating the link to uh, previous two videos in the description section below. Please do check out those also for better understanding and if you have not subscribed yet then please do subscribe this will be very helpful for me thank you bye bye